Okay, so here behind me I have a tensile test machine and we are going to be doing an interesting experiment where we will test and go through lots of different badminton strings and find out what tension they break at. Let's go! So how this will work is that I take a small piece of string each and wrap each end with some sandpaper to help with the grip and ensure the string stays in the clamp. Then I'll clamp the string into the tensile test machine like this and make sure it holds the ends of the strings tightly. When I turn the machine on, it will essentially pull and stretch the string out slowly to create more and more tension on it, whilst obviously measuring what distance it has been stretched. You can also see that it's hooked up onto a screen here, which gives you the results of the point where the string actually breaks. But as with every experiment, we need some rules. So here are the rules. Number one, each piece of string needs to be fresh. It's a fresh, unused piece of string. Number two, the center area between the two clamps have to be at least 10 centimeters for every piece of string that I test. Number three, the sandpaper will be replaced after every two runs of the testing. Number four, for each string, there'll be a pretension of five newtons or half a kilogram or just a little bit over a pound. Then the machine will pull two centimeters per Per second speed until the string breaks, obviously whilst measuring the distance, of course. Obviously this is not a perfect experiment, there might be other variables that I couldn't control, especially when the clamps were slipping on certain strings. Slipping up here, slip but we're just here to learn a little bit and also have fun with this because why not? Now let's get into the test. But before that, put your guesses down in the comments below which string you think will come out on top. You can always edit a comment after watching this video. So first up, we have the Yonex Aerosonic string in gray, which broke at 37.9 pounds, which is not bad considering it's so thin at only 0.61 millimeters. Nobody should even get close to this tension on your actual racket with the Aerosonic string. So I think we're all safe, but I think I might have pushed the string a little bit too hard here and crushed it a little with the sandpaper. Don't worry, there's another error Aerostonic measurement later on in this video, but this does mean this one comes in 16th and last place in this experiment. In 15th place is the Yonex BG66 at 39.6 pounds. Coming into the 40s here, we have the Yonex Xbox 63 in 14th place, breaking in at 43.3 pounds. Again, nobody should be coming close to any of these tensions here in the 40s, but just imagine the sweet, sweet sounds coming from your string bed on your racket. In 13th, we have the Yonex BG68 Ti, breaking at 44.8 pounds, and this is an old school string, which isn't produced anymore, but some old guards here do swear by them. In 12th, we have the Yonex Skyarc, which broke at 47.5 pounds. In 11th place is the Yonex Aerobyte, breaking at a big 48.5 pounds. Obviously for the Aerobyte, I'm only using the main string here, which is the super grippy string that's normally red, blue, or green. Are you impressed with the numbers so far in this experiment? Have you got your guesses in? And want to protect your rackets from chips, scratches, and even potential cracks? Have peace of mind with the premium racket protection tape from ckww.com forward slash shop. They're almost invisible and gives your racket the extra layer of protection in case of scrapes and or worse, a clash. So go check them out and we also have some limited edition sign prints there too. We now have approached the 50s pounds in the tension and in 10th place is the Yonex Aerobyte Boost in yellow, reaching 51.2 pounds before breaking. In 9th place is the Yonex BG66 Ultimax in blue, which broke at 51.5 pounds, closely followed by the Yonex BG66 Force in 8th place, which broke at 51.7 pounds. And even more closely followed by is the Yonex Aerosonic White, which broke 51.8 pounds before breaking and it comes in at 7 plates. Oh my god. Do know that we are already in the 50s and these are all very thin strings and with the Ultimax and 66 Force at 0.65 millimeters and the Aerosonic again at 0.61 millimeters only. Incredible. In sixth place was the Yonex BG65 Ti, old school, breaking at 53.1 pounds and we have now finally arrived at the traditional 0.7 millimeters badminton strings. Now we're in the top five. The Babolat string has yet to be seen and where do you think it's going to be placed? The Yonex BG80 string comes in fifth, breaking at 53.2 pounds and in fourth place is the Yonex Nano G98 in white, breaking at 53.9 pounds. Again, this was a super thin string and many would regard the Nano G98 as a string that breaks quite easily 
easily with a miss hit, but it certainly held itself well at high tensions here. Coming in in third place is the Yonex BG65, the classic, breaking at a massive 56 pounds. Now for the last two, who will come out on top? We actually have a joint first and second place with the strings here. Both the Babolat Life Plus 70 and the Yonex Nanogen 95 broke at the same exact point at a whopping 57.299 pounds. Now that is a crazy tension. And could you imagine playing with this tension and how would it feel? None of the other strings broke at the exact same points. So it's actually very interesting to have two breaking at the same amount of tension down to the decimal here. So how have your guesses been? And if you've actually enjoyed something like this, let me know down in the comment section below. Any questions, put it down again. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.